What's up everybody, my name is Ronnie DiMaggio, product specialist here at BMW of Morristown, that's Austin behind the camera. And in today's video, we're gonna be doing a walk around and overview of this 2022 BMW X3 xDrive 30i. So the X3 is BMW's mid-size SAV offering, slots just below the X5 in terms of size and just above the X1. The X3 is offered in three different trim levels. You have this car, the xDrive 30i, you have the X3 M40i, and then of course the X3M, however, the X3 xDrive 30i is the car that people are coming in to test drive most frequently. It's the car that is being sold in the highest numbers. So it's the car that most of you are probably interested in if you're a shopper. That said, we will have videos on those higher trim X3s coming out eventually. But for now, let's talk about the X3 xDrive 30. So under the hood is a two liter turbocharged four cylinder engine, has 248 horsepower, 258 pound-feet of torque and that torque comes on nice and low so this car feels particularly energetic and powerful in the low rpm ranges sitting around in traffic driving through the city feels like it has plenty of get up and go as any bmw does uh, paired to an eight-speed automatic transmission as well so let's talk a little bit about the exterior styling so this car is equipped with the x-line package as opposed to the m sport package so what that changes is you have a little bit of textured plastic down around the lower bumpers as well as the wheel arches. You have a nice satin silver finish on the grill and on these lower parts of the bumper as well. If you get an M Sport package car, you can uh, adjust the bumpers so that this black plastic is replaced by a painted surface. You have different front and rear fascias on the M Sport package cars anyway. You do have these nice BMW LED headlights with that really nice looking daytime running light, kind of resembles the Corona rings that BMWs used to have. Talking about colors, this particular car is finished in Phytonic Blue Metallic. There are an array of color options you can choose for the X3, but this blue, especially when paired with Cognac, is actually a really popular color choice, and for good reason, it looks great. If you want to come around a little bit to the side of the car, we can take a look at these wheels. These are a 19-inch wheel. BMW calls this finish ferric gray. It's kind of a very slightly darker silver. So 19 inch wheels with 245, 50 tires all around, all season tires, and of course all wheel drive. So unless you're driving up some really treacherous mountains, you should be all set with these tires and all wheel drive as far as snow goes, especially in this area in New Jersey. You can also see some more silver accents down on this little side gill and down the side of the car ties in really nicely with that front end that has those silver accents as well. And right while you're in the air, if you want to take a look at the black that surrounds the wheel arches, that is another thing that you would eliminate if you optioned the M Sport package. The X line is kind of the slightly more rugged option. If you don't want all those painted surfaces, maybe you're going to be going places where you're kicking up mud and stuff like that. It's the more easy to maintain as far as paint finish wise goes the X-Line is the way to go. If you want these unpainted surfaces around the wheels, definitely going to be less susceptible to chips, stuff like that. That's why I feel like most people probably option it because they prioritize that practicality and ease of maintenance as opposed to the sporty looks. But if you want the sporty looks, of course, we have the M Sport package for you. If you want to come around to the back of the car, a couple things to note. First thing that I really like about the X3 is this little roof spoiler. Instead of just ending the roof at the glass, BMW adds on little something extra, gives it a little bit more of a sporty look, and it doesn't hamper the visibility at all from the rear view mirror, so it's a win-win. You also have two chrome tailpipe finishers. It is a dual exhaust outlet. Again, adds to a, a little more premium look instead of like one tailpipe or something like that. You have much more of that satin silver finishing the lower part of the bumper, a little bit more of that black plastic, and then of course your Phytonic blue on top of that, so you have all three colors finished on the rear bumper. Helps to tie in all those design elements as far as the silver around the windows, the front grills, all that kind of stuff that we talked about. And while we're back here, this is one of the biggest changes that you'll notice about the 2021 and up X3s. The X3 got an LCI, a life cycle impulse or a refresh in 2021. So they adjusted the taillights a little bit. They have that kind of like smoked out look. They're a little bit darker. They adjusted the headlights as well, some of the interior details, but these new taillights look really good. But that is going to do it for the exterior of the X3. Why don't we take a look at the cargo area as well as the rear seats? All right, so here we are around back of the X3. Let's take a look at the cargo area because I'm sure for most people, this is gonna be the everyday car, maybe a family car, 
So trunk space and practicality is of course important. And if that's the case, you're in luck because the X3 has plenty of usable cargo space back here. It's very deep, so you can fit pretty large items. And of course, if you wanted to, you can fold down the rear seats. You guys can stay there. I'll pop around and show you how that looks. There's a little latch right here that we can pull down and the seats pop down. The nice thing about this particular seat setup is that you can fold each seat down individually. So you can fold passenger side, driver side, and middle seat all independent of each other. And you can kind of get the idea if all three seats were folded down, you would have a ton of room. I can't really imagine what you would want to put in there that you couldn't fit if you had all three seats folded down. And this cargo cover does pull out if you want to cover your cargo. Or of course, there's a little button right here, a latch we can pop out and just to remove the cargo cover if you do have a larger item that would interfere with that. So lots of practicality. You do have a 12 volt outlet. Maybe you're sitting back here tailgating and watching a soccer or baseball game or something you want to plug in your phone. You have that capability right back here. You don't have to go around up front. Same thing with like a tire compressor or something like that. You have a little bit of extra usability with that. And then of course we have a ton of space underneath the cargo floor as well. Comes with a tow hook, that's what's in that bag. And then the rest of that space is all yours for whatever it is you wanna keep back here. Maybe you don't want something rolling around on the trunk floor, you can stow it under the trunk floor. You do have a nice netted area on the side as well to keep stuff in place. You have a little strap, again, just to help secure cargo if you need to. You can close this up and let's hop around to the back seat show you what it's like back there. So as you would expect, plenty of leg room back here. I'm about 5'9", sitting behind my own driving position. I have plenty of leg room, knee room, foot room. My headroom is of course fantastic, shoulder room, everything's great back here. So very usable back seat for people of all heights, uh, all sizes, kids, adults, whatever you want is going to work out back here. You do have climb control. You have two USB-Cs down in the center there as well. You can option an X3 with heated rear seats if that's something that you want. But overall, a very nice back seat, very usable area. So that's all great to see, but let's hop up front, talk about some of the interior features up there. All right, so here we are on the interior of the 2022 X3. So. The X3 is running BMW's iDrive 7 infotainment system, as well as the Live Cockpit Pro center gauge cluster. You do, of course, have navigation, Bluetooth capability, wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, as well as your standard suite of safety features. You have forward collision mitigation, lane departure, as well as blind spot monitoring. Those things are all configurable, so if you don't like any of those things, don't worry, you can turn them off. But talking about uh, interior design, the X3 looks very nice. You have a really, really large center screen, some nice wood inlays. You can option this in uh, different wood options or like an aluminum silver kind of finish. All your climate controls are really intelligently laid out right in the center there. One row of buttons for everything climate related, as well as your standard radio presets, mode and band, volume knob, all the standard stuff that you would expect. But because the X3 is a car that is so popular among families and um, maybe young couples, people that are just needing every day, do everything car. I wanna talk a little bit more about storage space. I know that's important to a lot of people. So you have really large door pockets. You can fit, you have a, a really large bottle holder as well as another separate door pocket. So tons of space in there. You also have kind of a secret cubby under your headlight controls to the left of the steering wheel. If you wanna move in a little bit closer to this cup holder area, you can see that you have a nice large storage space down here, USB port, as well as two large cup holders. And then of course you have a glove box and the same big door panels over there, door storage panels over there on the passenger door as well. So lots of places to put things in the X3. Let's talk a little bit about the driving position, the ergonomics. So of course, being a BMW, the ergonomics are fantastic. Everything falls to hand really well. Steering wheel feels great. This is the um, X-Line steering wheel. So if you got M Sport, you would get a slightly different looking steering wheel. This one also looks fantastic. Feels really nice. It's nicely leather wrapped and stitched. You do have two paddle shifters on the back of the steering wheel if you're interested in the, controlling the transmission yourself. You have some radio controls as well as cruise control over on the left, all right at your thumb tips on the steering wheel. And because this car is well optioned. You have a heated steering wheel as well. 
And one other thing I want to mention specifically about the X3 is the sunroof. So if you want to take a look up, we can actually open up this sunroof. And because it is so gigantic, it actually takes a little while to get completely open. But once it is open, the panoramic sunroof in the X3 is really, really impressive. Goes all the way over, uh, almost over the headrests in the back seat, and of course right up to the um, about a foot off the front of the upper part of the windshield. So really big sunroof lets in tons of natural light, which is fantastic. And this front portion, obviously, we could actually show you, does open up. If you want to get some fresh air in from the roof, you can do that, of course. Push it all the way back. And one thing that I like about BMW is they come with these little windshields. So in a lot of cars, you open up the sunroof and you just get a ton of wind buffeting. It's not even worth it. But BMW has you covered there, as they always do, with a little wind buffeter um, protector. Helps with wind noise a lot. We can go ahead and close that up so we don't let our AC out. Another thing you're probably noticing about this specific X3 is the interior color. This is called Cognac. Um, it's somewhere between like brown and orange. It has a little bit of like that oyster beige color in it. It's just a really nice color. These seats are perforated and this is a Sensatec material. So this is a no cost option if you want Cognac interior, which is great because it's so popular. Everybody loves Cognac, especially with the Bitonic Blue. But anyway, that is going to do it for the interior of the X3. So let's hop outside and we'll wrap up. All right, so that's gonna do it for this walk around and overview of the 2022 X3. Hope they gave you guys a good idea of what it's like to check out an X3 in person. And of course, if you do wanna check out an X3 in person, you can give us a call at 973-455-0700 or stop by at 111 Ridgedale Ave here in Morristown, New Jersey. If there are any cars that you wanna see specifically, please drop a comment down below. If you think we earned it, please give us a subscription and a like as well and follow us on social media. We're on Instagram, TikTok, and Facebook at BMW Morristown, so please check us out there as well. But that's going to do it for this one. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.